hey guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel in this video I will show you how to clip a net CDA file using a shape file a shape file is a geometry of uh, any boundary like district uh, a canal command or a command of water course or at the province level or a country or a large uh, catchment so first of all you have to search on the uh, 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 windows uh, search bar you need to search anaconda prompt anaconda prompt here you go so you need to click it so here you have to either you you start a Jupyter notebook it will write uh, it will start a Jupyter notebook uh, from this folder or uh, sometimes you have uh, uh, a folder in which you want to save or work in uh, in in the C or D or any drive so here for example I want to start from this folder so it has uh, in the D drive classes hydroinformatics and Python blah 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 so here you have to write start Jupyter notebook it will initiate a Jupyter notebook so here Jupyter notebook uh, Jupyter uh, is started now you have uh, for example if you want to start a new Jupyter notebook uh, you will do this by click on new and Python 3 right or for example you have uh, worked in uh, previously on, on the on the notebooks and you have saved in in this directory so uh, you can you can open it right from here so I have uh, one notebook which is reading GPCC data so this is all the script where you can uh, where I have imported the uh, net CDF file which is GPCC in our case GPCC is global precipitation climate center data set so at first step what we will do is to import different libraries right so the, you can do this by importing and uh, before importing you have to install those uh, packages by using conda or other uh, using different tools right so I have done it by importing different libraries and then in the next step I am setting the directory here you can do uh, you can do by the, uh, writing this line os dot chdir and then you can get cwd os dot get get current working directory and the print it will show it will print the current working directory so let me run this command it will take uh, a while to import all libraries uh, yes uh, so I got some warnings but warnings uh, are not errors right so here we uh, in this line we will we are uh, changing the working directory and now by printing the command we will get the current working directory and here in this line we are going to open this net CDF file by using XR so XR is the XRA uh, we have imported this library xr.open dataset and this is the name of uh, GPCC dataset which I have saved in this working directory in this folder so we will run this 
and we have saved this by giving it a name ds data set you can you can rename it as per your convenience and then we have we want to see this data set uh, so here there are 360 latitudes and 720 longitudes and 1512 uh, months data and there is some other information like data set title history when it was modified reference blah 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 and we want to see the variables so the we can do it uh, by ds is the name which we saved the file with ds dot data verse so here there is one variable percept it is very important to know okay which uh, very uh, what are the variables and what are its names here we want to see uh, some of meta set, uh, metadata which uh, we have already seen in the uh, in the upper line and this is the line dims ds dot dims we want to see the dimensions of this data set uh, 360 latitudes longitudes and attributes so this the, it will give a little bit more information about this data set info is another uh, command to see some of its meta uh, metadata and this is the coordinates and here if you want to see the first is time step uh, of the data set you can do it by uh, this way and zero means the first here in other languages it is starts with the one but in python it is starts with zero first step first time step starts with zero so for example this is this is the value of the first time step and you can check it uh, by plot so it will generate the whole because it is a global data set so it will give you a global map of 1891 january first right so january 1891 to probably nine uh, 2016 or 15 so here you want to see the latitude and longitude uh, let us run this command so here is a list array of latitudes and this is ds dot lon we want to see longitudes and uh, now we want to like for example if you want to uh, conduct a research or you want a data set from 1901 to 2015 and you can do it by a command ds dot sel in which uh, you will write in parentheses time is equal to slice and in parentheses uh, start time and this is end time right so i have uh, given it a name ds underscore 1901 underscore 2015 because i want to memorize uh, when uh, looking at this variable it will explain me that this data set is from 1901 to 2015 so let us run this and now we want to see it here you can see earlier it was 1500 and something and here it is 1380 because data starts from 1891 and uh, now you can you can see here 1512 months but here in this line we explore the data set from 1901 to 2015 only so now it is showing us 1380 
and then for example i want to explore this net cdf file for a province of pakistan it is at the lower index basin it is its name is sindh so uh, let us uh, read this file by using gpd dot read underscore file and in this line we will plot this uh, shape file to see whether it is correct or not so here this, this is the map of send and if you want to see the metadata of this file you can uh, simply write a name or print shape file here uh, you can clip this data set by uh, uh, two ways so first uh, looking at the latitude and longitude of this uh, rectangle for example this is 66 latitude and longitude 23 and 29 something like this so here you can do it by simply uh, looking at uh, by writing in the longitude size 66 to 72 and in latitude 30 to 23 so it will it will give you uh, gpcc data for this time slice 1901 to 2015 of this rectangle and here you will see the data set, uh, data set uh, for example of 14 latitude and lo uh, 12 longitude and time 1380 1901 to 2015 let us print this clipped data so this is for whole rectangle the plot of whole rectangle so this is a legend the percept percep average precipitation from so this is a mean right we uh, here we have averaged this precipitation 1901 to 2015 for this rectangle So guys, this was uh, all about uh, clipping the precipitation data set for. So this was clipping a data set using a defined latitude and longitude. For example, if you have shape file, uh, we want to clip the same uh, data set with the boundary of send province. So here you can write. Uh, region mask dot regions np dot array shape file dot geometry and then uh, writing this line mask is equal to poly dot mask percept month send this is the same uh, clipped data F uh, and isel time is equal to zero and latitude name latitude and longitude which we have already uh, extracted in the upper uh, uh, code lines and then we will run this this is the third and uh, last line to clip the net cdf data with this uh, shape file right and in here in this line number 27 it will plot the clip data set so here so this is the gpcc data with with uh, clip we have clipped this data for from 1901 to 2015 for send region and we have averaged it for uh, for whole time period this is the legend so for example the yellow line the yellow uh, color shows that this region has precipitation for more than 35 or up to 40 millimeter uh, average monthly precipitation from 1901 to 2015 and this is these are the grids uh, gpcc data set has a grid of about 50 kilometer and we have clipped for this boundary i hope you like this video